Yo, what is good, my anime people? What is good? I know y'all are seeing this outfit I'm putting on because you just know. You know I love my show. <laughs> um, this week's episode of Big Low is definitely another great showcase of why the people you have are so important you saw it y'all are seeing this nah I'm about to lose sooner or later I'm sorry (laughs) but um the people that you have closest to you there's some things you can't like gain with time you know uh, and even if you do gain it again after you've already achieved it, it might not last as long because of, you know, age or just interest in general. Um, so with those things being said, it feels like Gearless Joe really has, you know, had the stone or like he's had something finally hit, you know, that these kids want nothing to do with him, even in the best situation where you throw a fight because it's going to make the most money of all times, uh, which, funny enough, I didn't even think of that, like, I know a lot of people, a lot of y'all probably thought about it, like, that he was probably going to throw the fight, uh, especially with the person, you know, pretty much making it clear that, you know, he's still trying to make as much money as possible. As soon as I saw someone saying they're going all in on Joe, I should have realized that, right? Now, all of a sudden, Joe fumbles the bag, and everybody who bet it all in is out of, out of it, you know? So, very, very classic uh, type of stuff there. So, I was brought to so many different emotions when it came down to just thinking what is going on in Joe's mind towards the end of the week's episode. <clears throat> Not only did he take the beating on the lifetime, he's also lost somebody that just pretty much passed away from, you know, megaloboxing. Uh, I mean, sure, he could add another condition that we didn't know about. Um, but to be fair... You know, it more or less was pointing towards the fact that he was just boxing and, uh, you know, taking way too much consistent damage and stuff like that. So it really does interest me in the world as much as we already are getting the spotlight on the world. What more can they try to take away from this character? Because now when he was told that everybody has a home to go to, he literally does not have that place to go to, and it, it's not even to a point, or to a fault where he didn't try, it's to the point where the trying is still the thing that's hurting everybody, but we can see it, you know, working its way to some of the kids, just the other part of it is them trying to accept the fact that because one of them, the main one, the one that, you know, went through the most, told him not to show his face ever again, said that, that, oh, he did it, so I I hate him even more. It's like, so if he did show his face, guess who wouldn't, you know, have showed their face around? One of them, you know, like the kid who told him not to show up. So it's like this weird, dumb cycle of, <clears throat> yeah, he did the worst thing possible at the at the moment, but you gotta forgive him if he's gonna continuously try to be in your life, and if you don't want to forgive him, then fine, but you're really just leaving him out here with the devil, and he's gonna die on his own, alone, with no one around him, with the, the devil taking his life, so let's watch the devil take my, okay, I'm sorry, I'm salty, I just don't like fighting the devil. Um, well, yeah, I would rate this episode a 10 just because not only did they bring us back to these old characters and show us their new lives, but all of the old stuff that Joe was dealing with to get them out of is still highly prevalent and a big issue 
uh, even today after getting them as far as away from, from that as possible and getting them money and being actually legit. Now, here we are, you know, reaching in the same pockets of the scammer and the person who took, you know, the eye of our, the guy we care for the most that has left us. And yeah, let's go back and try to get money from that guy. But regardless, I hope y'all are having an amazing day, night, evening, wherever the case may be. I am your boy, the Anime G, and I'll talk to you in the next one. Peace.